Hello. In this video, I'm going to take a look at the letters from Santa, one trick to a great Christmas email. And I'm going to show you how you can determine if an email such as this is a scam or not. And I'm going to open it up. And this is what the email looks like here. The title of it's One Trick to a Great Christmas. Down here it says, Send your child an official package from Santa. And it says it includes your child's name, hometown, and best friend's name. Postmark from the North Pole, the perfect gift for any child. And then it gives you a button here to click on to click here to order now. And if I hover over that button, in the lower left corner it says it's going to take me to ximattra.net. Okay, so now I'm going to come down a little further. Here's a link here to click on. That's going to take me to the same place if I click on it. And this one also is going to take me to the same place if I click on it. To the right here, you see the red circles. This is Web of Trust. When these circles are red like this, that means that these links are bad. I do not click on them. If it was green, it would mean that it's safe to click on the links or the image. If it's yellow, you're basically entering at your own risk. And when it's yellow, it's usually heading for red. When you see a question mark, same thing, you're basically entering at your own risk. And the question mark means just not enough people have reported it yet for Web of Trust to know if it's safe or not. So you're basically entering at your own risk when it's a question mark also. So right away, Web of Trust is telling us that all the links are bad. Do not click on them. I'm going to come up. I'm going to copy the domain, the ximattra.net. I'm going to open URL void. I'm going to paste what I just copied into the box. And then submit. And it says that this site has been blacklisted. It was detected by three different programs Spam House DBL, My Web of Trust, and Serval. And I'm going to go back now. So now we have Web of Trust and URL Void both telling us that the email is bad. And now I'm going to go to the drop down arrow here. I'm going to go to Show Original. I'm going to right click, click on select all, right click again, click copy, I'm going to open IPnet info, paste what I just copied in the box, click OK, and if Web of Trust and URL void wasn't enough, this is definitely enough. Started in California at the Google server, bounced into Romania, bounced into Germany, and then stayed in Germany and that's enough right there to tell you that this email is definitely bad and I'm going to close this out I'll go ahead and close this and that's the letters from Santa one trick to a great Christmas email we use three different ways to determine that this email is definitely a scam don't fall for this email do not click on the links or on the order button here be careful thank you for watching have a great day to get WOT in Firefox, you go to the drop down menu and then to add ons. And then under get add ons, you go to the search bar and you type WOT, all capital letters, and hit enter. And it's not showing up here because I already have it installed, but it would be up here. And you just highlight it and then go to the right over here and click the install button. You'll probably have to restart Firefox after you install it, but once you restart it, then it's running. And if you're using Google Chrome, you go to the settings menu here, and then go to tools, and then to extensions. And here it shows the extensions that I already have that are enabled and disabled. And I don't really want any of these, so I'm going to disable all of them. And then I'm going to go to get more extensions. And in the search box, I'm going to type WOT all capital letters and hit enter and here it is right at the top so now I'm just going to click on the add to chrome button click add and here it is right up here now so now web of trust is running on the web browser I'm going to close everything out and to get IPNet info, I'm going to type CNET, hit enter, click on download.com, 
and in the search box type IP net info all one word hit enter here it is right here I'm gonna click the download button save the file if you have the option to run go ahead and run the downloads complete and now I'm just going to click on it and the setup wizard will open then you guys just follow the instructions from there I'm going to cancel this out close everything up